If you're just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. Officials at Chicago's O'Hare, at Chicago's two major airports, are preparing for potential delays and cancellations today. A severe weather could cause plenty of headaches for holiday travelers across the country. AAA says more than 98 million travelers are leaving town and driving or flying for the holidays. Snow is anticipated in the Great Lakes region with precipitation from Missouri to Michigan. And right here along the East Coast, it's going to be a washout for most of us this Christmas Eve. News 8's Morgan Sturvin is live along 295 in Portland with warnings from officials about driving in this wet weather. Morgan. That's right. Good morning. Right now, it's looking pretty clear out here on 295. The fog's kind of moving out, and it's not drizzly at all right now. But if you're heading out later between 2 and 4, we're going to start seeing rain. It's going to get heavier and stay heavier through the night. So whether you're going across town or across the state, police say you should be cautious and alert if you have plans to drive tonight or tomorrow. Police say you may have to contend with the potential for hydroplaning in these wet conditions. They say you should make sure to slow down, avoid large puddles and flooded roads, and do not use cruise control. You also want to leave yourself plenty of time, especially if you're heading south today. And for those of you who are flying out for the Holidays, things are running on schedule at the jet port this morning, and after the rush, they expect it to be very quiet tomorrow on Christmas Day. And if you want to track Santa's travels today, you can by going to NORADSANTA.org, and you can see everything there, everywhere after he goes this morning. Live in Portland, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8. State offices are closing early today. Governor Paul LePage says the holidays are closing the holidays for state employees, and that will start at noon. Some help coming to the laid off Bucksport mill workers this January. Eastern Maine Community College in Bangor plans to offer a free IT certification course. Students who pass two tests qualify for entry level IT positions. Workers can also expect half of their severance pay by January 8th. And May labor officials say the rest will come by mid March. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today our thoughts with the Bush family. President George H. W. Bush, we are told, is resting at a hospital in Texas this morning. The president was taken by ambulance last night to Houston Methodist after experiencing shortness of breath. His spokesman says that he's being held for observation just as a precaution. More than 200 theaters across the country, including the Caribou Theater, will be showing the film The Interview tomorrow. After all, Sony originally canceled the release of the comedy after a cyber attack and online threats from hackers linked to North Korea. As of right now, none of the major theater chains will be playing the movie. And as the protests continue in New York and across the country this morning, we are learning of yet another police-involved shooting that happened overnight. Police say a crowd of about 100 protesters gathered at a gas station in Berkeley, Missouri, after a man who pointed a gun at an officer was shot and killed. Police say a second person fled the scene, which is about two miles from Ferguson. Finally this morning, soaring to new heights, the Dow Jones Industrial Average this morning opens above 18,000 for the first time ever. The index has gained nearly 1,000 points over the last five days. The S&P 500 has also reached record heights this week.